What's up YouTube? This your boy Passive Crypto checking in again with my third video on Hyper Dragons Go, which is on the Ontology Network. My last video I showed you which which dragons that you need to focus in on so you can start producing crypto right away. This video I'm going to expand on that, but before I do, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell to get updates on gems just like this. Now let's get it. So let's go to the arena so we can get this out the way real quick so you want to figure out which dragons to get so you go to the fight record female dragon special contest this is how I would do my research so the female special dragon contest I would look for dragons that's winning so all you want to do is copy success these dragons are being very successful and winning at this contest so this is the type of dragons that you want to look for in the market so let's look at the attributes and the skills see the attributes are pretty good look at the health the max of I've ever seen was plus six or so plus four or higher is great uh, stamina same thing plus six is the highest it can go um, I wouldn't uh, buy a dragon unless it was plus four or higher for the stamina and health the strength is pretty good the initial growth rate is 7.6 which is good and the initial power is excellent and the skills has two offensive move and a charge up I would buy this dragon the reason why I would buy this dragon is because it produces income within the platform it's already proven and you can make a lot of money with this type of dragon so if I was in the market and I saw these attributes on a female dragon I would buy it the next contest you want to focus in on is the uh, it's two more it's the exclusive zero gen actually it's three more so let's start with this one exclusive zero gen see these dragons are already proven because you can see it for yourself they are already earning income on the platform so focus on these type of attributes and for a dragon in the market and buy that dragon see this dragon has two skills offensive moves the health is good the attributes are metrics are good the growth rate is 7.6 it's a female dragon so the initial power is decent Remember in my last video I said I wouldn't buy a female dragon unless the initial power is at least 424 or higher. So this would be a dragon I would buy and I would enter it into the exclusive zero gen contest because it's a zero zero gen dragon. So I would search for zero gen, gen dragons on the market and I look for these type of attributes. And skills and I will buy it the next contest is the power swap the power swap if I can find it well the final match let's look at the final match that's another one. this contest basically is the highest level you can have your dragon and the highest power so these are winning dragons so you want to copy success so you look at one of these dragons and you look at the metrics and then you look for a dragon that has similar metrics and attributes and skills and you'll buy it on the market see it has two offensive moves it has a charge move the growth rate is 7.8 which is great the initial power is great and the attributes are great so this would be a dragon I would buy on the market I find a cheaper dragon I could find it looks similar to this as far as these attributes and skills having two offensive moves and I would buy that dragon and if you did that you're probably gonna have success in the final match now this isn't financial advice by any means this is just what I would do if I was playing this game and I was looking for dragons to buy to earn income right away now the last tournament would be the power swap the power swap you're looking for the weakest dragon you could find see these dragons you want to copy success again 
these dragons are already proven that they can win so you would look for a dragon with this type of skill set see it has one offensive move has a very very low power and let me say this for the power swap the attributes don't really matter and the growth rate don't matter it's all about the lowest power and having at least one offensive move or a charge up move so if I saw this dragon on the market or a dragon is similar to this that's what I would do I would look for a dragon with similar metrics to this and I'll find the lowest power dragon and I would buy that dragon don't train the the lowest power dragon because you will mess up its power and increase it and then basically you you you, you um basically just made the dragon useless so you bought it for nothing so I uh, don't do that just uh leave it the way it is that's it don't train it don't do anything just wait once a week and enter it into the power swap contest so that's what I would do now the powerful dragon Let's go to the market so you can see real quick. You always go by sort by, and it has all the little categories, and you can scroll up and down to find what you're looking for. So for the final match, which is the most profitable way to earn, I wouldn't start off with that if I was a newbie, but if you just want to dive in and, and shoot your sh shoot your shot, go for the highest power first search that in the market and you are looking for remember what I showed you you can always go back as a reference to the fight record and the final match and you're looking for dragons with that with the similar or close as you could find to the attributes and skill set as the dragons that already won previously so then from there you would buy the cheapest dragon you could find with those attributes and skills like this dragon everything look good but it's kind of on the expensive side I would probably look for another dragon or wait till this price drop a little bit and then buy it this would be a good dragon to buy because of the price and it has a charge up so it increases your attack for two rounds which is basically two moves this would be another dragon I would buy because it's cheap has a high power and the growth rate is good has a charge up and a really powerful move it's not it doesn't have two offensive moves but this right here is one of the most powerful moves on the game so I would buy this dragon because you can charge up the most powerful move on it on the game and you get another power attack because it increases two attacks so I would buy this dragon so for the higher power dragons I would definitely do that and another way to earn income is you can see this shows you how many times the, the dragon can reproduce so this dragon can reproduce three times so I would try and breed it because it's a male dragon with a female dragon with uh, good attributes and more than likely you're gonna come out with a dragon that has a high power and good skill set and you can those dragons are very 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 important to the game and you can earn income by selling them or siring them out and producing babies with those so you want to focus on basically what I'm trying to get across to you guys is you want to focus on dragons that produce income. I just showed you which which dragons produce income and what tournaments to focus on and what attributes and skills that you're looking for. So that right there is 90 percent of the battle when playing Hyper Dragons Go on the Autology Network. So before I get to close this video out, I just want to say if you're staking on G. ONT to earn ONG. Um, I'll just give you an example. Right now, I'm staking about 300 ontology in my old wallet. I'm earning on average about one ONG a week. On this platform, I'm earning about 400 to 600 ONG a week. That's a big difference. So, if I wanted to earn ONG, I probably would be looking at playing this game. 
for me i only play it 30 minutes a day because because of the stuff i just showed you i don't have to be on the game that long if you focus in on income producing dragons and focus in on tournaments where you can produce income to sell them on the market so before i wrap this up just want to say thank you for watching my video please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and the like and i'll see you in my next video have a nice day peace